everyone. Welcome back to Studio 33 Art by Kay. Today I'm going to be continuing with a little series of working with these black diamond pigments. Um, I've got a few, but I have the Andromeda and the Dynamic Fury mixed up, so I'm I just want to um, use those up today. Um, so I'm doing another mixed base. So I'm going to use the Montmartre Dimensions Thalo Blue. Now the Dimensions is a gloss finish and it's quite a um, heavily pigmented paint from Montmartre. So it will have a glossy background when it dries, but I'm going to use um, resin over it once it's dried anyway, so it doesn't really matter if it's gloss or not, but that's just the paint I'm going to be using underneath. I'll use the Amsterdam Lamp Black as my cell activator. And as I say, these two um, beautiful black diamond color shift pigments, um, which are absolutely gorgeous. So without further ado, I'll lay down the space. Now this is 150 millimeters by 150 millimeters, um, which is a really great size. You can use that to create a beautiful um, trivet or a larger coaster, or you can even use it like Josh, Josh Hutchison does um, to frame as well. You can frame it and um, makes a beautiful piece of artwork framed. So, and it's a good size for um, beginners to try as well, not wasting too much paint. Okay, so I'm just going to cover the edges. I think this would be gorgeous with these two pigments. I wanna make sure I haven't got too much paint I have a habit lately of laying down too much base paint and of course it can give you problems with drying so I'll just give that a little spin it'll help to get off the excess all right that looks nice and smooth so I'll just burst any bubbles Yeah, the pattern I'm going to do today, yes, I think I'll just lay the paint through the center and then just swipe around, just swipe halfway and swipe the other half. I find doing the half and half, it means you're not getting that real smeary look as you go, you know, you start off with the beautiful cells and then it becomes smeary. So if I do half and then the other half, it just makes it um, so you get more cells. It's really lovely. Okay, so here we go. Just going to lay it straight through the middle. Try not to make too many blops. It's always better if you can have these paints in a squeeze bottle actually, but because I'm just mixing up a little bit at a time, I've just got it in these little leftover um, yogurt containers, which are great because you can use them a few times and then if they get too much paint on them you can't get off very well you can just throw them away and of course you've already um, recycled them anyway so now this is the dynamic fury so sometimes I'll lay the paint on top of the other color sometimes I'll lay it alongside if you lay it alongside obviously your cells aren't going to be multi cells well they will be because when you swipe one color will go over the top of another anyway but it just gives a slightly different effect. I'm loving this colour. Put heaps of paint on there. I'd actually love to put just some gold through there. Just going to put a little bit of the Montmartre pouring paint gold. Just for something a bit different. <laughs> it's my favourite gold, you'd know that. Okay, so just a little bit through there. Just for something different. Okay, so now I'm just going to swipe using my little offset spatula, which is not as clean as it should be. And just using the Amsterdam 
Lamp Black Selectivator. And there's a few bubbles there actually, I should burst those first. I'm loving this paint on the top of that um, beautiful phthalo blue. Okay, here we go, wish me luck. how these have come up on that blue wow that's mostly actually the dynamic fury and how's how is that showing up against the blue it's beautiful oh mm, that's exciting see it's worth experimenting with the different colored bases and not just using the black um the andromeda doesn't come up so well but that um, dynamic fury is just outstanding wow So now we'll just go the other way. So just very lightly, just enough that you're touching without going too deep into the paint. I really like that, how I've dragged that off there, both ways there. I like that composition. I'd love to say that I'd thought that out beforehand, but sometimes you just got to go with how you're feeling at the time and, um, and let your hand and your brain work without you overthinking things and just going through there like that. I love that. And I'm almost inclined to not even modify like I normally do you know how I love to modify everything but I'm just loving how that's gone like that hmm. thinking thinking maybe I'll just do a little wreck instead instead of doing my usual modification I'll just do a little wreck so I'm just going to take the pointy end of my skewer just do a little Wrecking line through there like that. Not too much, just just that little bit of interest there. And stop. Don't do another thing. Walk away. She says, definitely, just want to take that off there a little bit. So I'm just going to give that just one little spin. I just want that little bit to go off. And I am just loving that like that is. So glad I tried that um, Montmartre Dimension Solo Blue. It's the base. Beautiful. Okay. Well, that's it I'm not going to touch it absolutely gorgeous I'm absolutely 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 just in case you didn't get the word thrilled with this dynamic fury it is against that blue base wow I'm just not sure about this guy here he just looks a bit sort of out in the middle of no man's land doesn't he just kind of bring that one little bit in that's better this brings it into the pattern a little bit more okay no more touching it i'll bring you down for the close-up here we are coming down for the close-up of this lovely piece 
I'm really liking the composition and look at that dynamic fury, that red, absolutely gorgeous against the blue, the phthalo blue there. And there of course is the Andromeda, which is showing up now as being very emerald um, colour there. It does have a colour shift where it will go through that to um, sort of a maroni colour, but I don't think I'll really be able to pick up the colour shift until it's dried and I can get it out in the in the sunlight. But you can kind of see there um, how the Andromeda's colour shifting, and certainly you can see the the uh, dynamic fury going from the red to the brown, blue, gorgeous. So what do you think of that one guys? Let me know in the comments whether you like the composition of this one and those colours. Certainly very sparkly. And that up there, look at that. Wow. And the cells down here. And I like how I just did that swipe through both ways like that. Just, um, yeah, really came out well. Okay. So I'll see you back here in Studio 33 in not too distant future once this dries and um, I can let you know, you know what it looks like uh, once it's dried. Okay, see you soon. Well, here we are with the dried result of this beautiful piece with the phthalo blue background, which is dried beautifully. And of course, the black diamond dynamic fury, uh, which is it's dried very coppery, which is beautiful. Um, sort of a red coppery look and then the um, Andromeda which has got this beautiful color shift you see there at the moment it looks a beautiful emerald green and then when we tilt it it turns into the most beautiful violet color so you can see there just gorgeous so I'm really happy with that result and once I um, resin that it's going to be absolutely beautiful Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed that one today, guys, and I'll see you back here in Studio 33 in the not-too-distant future. Until then, stay safe. Bye-bye.